The Battle of Hormozgen was the climactic battle between the Arsacid and the Sasanian dynasties that took place on April 28, 224. The Sasanian victory broke the power of the Parthian dynasty, effectively ending almost five centuries of Parthian rule in Iran, and marking the official start of the Sasanian era. Chapter 1 Background Around 208 Vologases V succeeded his father Vologases V as king of the Arsacid Empire. He ruled as the uncontested king from 208 to 213, but afterwards fell into a dynastic struggle with his brother Artabanus IV, who by 216 was in control of most of the empire, even being acknowledged as the supreme ruler by the Roman Empire. Artabanus IV soon clashed with the Roman Emperor Caracalla, whose forces he managed to contain at Nisibis in 217. Peace was made between the two empires the following year, with the Arsacids keeping most of Mesopotamia. However, Artabanus IV still had to deal with his brother Vologases Vi, who continued to mint coins and challenge him. The Sasanian family had meanwhile quickly risen to prominence in their native Pars, and had now under Prince Ardashir I begun to conquer the neighboring regions and more far territories, such as Kirman. At first, Ardashir I's activities did not alarm Artabanus IV, until later, when the Arsacid king finally chose to confront him. Chapter 2 History The location of the battle has not been found. The Arabic chronicle Nihayat al Arab states that the battle took place in Bdrj and or Bdjn which Weidenbrunn translated as Jerbat Hijan. This is however improbable, due to Ardashir I operating around Koshka before the battle. According to an unfinished work by Balami, the battle took place at Koshhormoz, which is another name for the notable city of Ramhormoz, situated near Arajan and Awaz. This implies that Ramhormoz was perhaps another word for Hormozgen, and also clarifies why the latter is not mentioned by Islamic geographers whilst the former is reported in detail. The town of Ram Hormoz still endures today, and is 65 kilometers east of Awaz, in a wide plain just at the foot of the hills that form the northeastern tail of the Bengistan mountain of the Zagros chain. According to Shibazi, the plain nearby is admirably suited for a cavalry engagement. According to Al-Tabari, whose work was probably based on Sasanian sources, Ardashir I and Artabanus IV agreed to meet in Hormozgen at the end of the month of Maya. Nonetheless, Ardashir I went to the place before due time to occupy an advantageous spot on the plain. There he dug out a ditch to defend himself and his forces. He also took over a spring at the place. Ardashir I's forces numbered 10,000 cavalry, with some of them wearing flexible chain armor akin to that of the Romans. Artabanus IV led a greater number of soldiers, who, however, were less disposed, due to wearing the inconvenient lamella armor. Ardashir I's son and heir, Shapur, as portrayed in the Sasanian rock reliefs, also took part in the battle. The battle was fought on 28 of April 224, with Artabanus IV being defeated and killed, marking the end of the Arsacid era, and the start of 427 years of Sasanian rule. Chapter 3, Aftermath The chief secretary of the deceased Arsacid king, Dad Windad, was afterwards executed by Ardashir I thenceforth, Ardashir I assumed the title of Shahanshah and started the conquest of an area which would be called Iran Shah. He celebrated his victory by having two rock reliefs sculptured at the Sasanian royal city of Ardashir Quarry in his homeland, Pars. The first relief portrays three scenes of personal fighting, starting from the left, a Persian aristocrat seizing a Parthian soldier, Shapur impaling the Parthian minister Dad Windad with his lance, and Ardashir I asking Artabanus for. The second relief, conceivably intended to portray the aftermath of the battle, displays the triumphant Ardashirai being given the badge of kingship over a fire shrine from the Zoroastrian supreme god Ahura Mazda, while Shapur and two other princes are watching from behind. Vologases Vi was driven out of Mesopotamia by Ardashirai's forces soon after 228. The leading Parthian noble families continued to hold power in Iran, now with the Sasanians as their new overlords. The early Sasanian army, 
was identical to the Parthian one. Indeed, the majority of the Sasanian cavalry composed of the very Parthian nobles that had once served the Arsacids. This demonstrates that the Sasanians built up their empire thanks to the support of other Parthian houses, and has due to this has been called the Empire of the Persians and Parthians. However, memories of the Arsacid Empire never completely vanished, with efforts trying to restore the empire in the late 6th century made by the Parthian dynasts Baram Chobin and Vistam, which ultimately proved unsuccessful. Chapter 4, Sources Al-Tabari, Abu Jafar Muhammad ibn Jarrah Ehsan Yashota The History of Al-Tabari 40 Volumes Albany New York, State University of New York Press Shilmon, M. L. Skipman, K. Ballas V. Encyclopedia Iranica, Volume 3, Fash. 6. Pages 574 to 580. Deri, Toroj. Sasanian Persia, The Rise and Fall of an Empire. I. B. Torres. Pages 1 to 240. ISBN 978-0857716668. McDonough, Scott. Military and Society in Sasanian Iran. In Campbell, Brian, Tritel, Lawrence A. The Oxford Handbook of Warfare in the Classical World. Oxford University Press. Pages 1 to 783. ISBN 9780195304657. Albrecht, Marek Jan. Dynastic Connections in the Arsacid Empire and the Origins of the House of Sasan. In Curtis, Vesta Sarkoche, Pendleton, Elizabeth J., Aurum, Michael, Derry, Toroj. The Parthian and Early Sasanian Empires. Adaptation and Expansion. Oxbow Books. ISBN 9781785702. Rajab Zada, Hashem. Dubia. Encyclopedia Iranica, Volume 6, Fash. 5. Pages 534 to 539. Skipman, K. Artabanis. Encyclopedia Iranica, Volume 2, Fash. 6. Pages 647 to 650. Skipman, K. Arsacids 2. The Arsacid Dynasty. Encyclopedia Iranica, Volume 2, Fash. 5. Pages 525 to 536. Shibazi, A. Shapur. Hormozjan. Encyclopedia Iranica, Volume 12, Fash. 5. Pages 469 to 470. Shibazi, A. Shapur. Sasanian Dynasty. Encyclopedia Iranica, Online Edition. Shibazi, A. Shapur. Sapper I. Encyclopedia Iranica. Shibazi, A. Shapur. Bestem O. Bendoy. Encyclopedia Iranica, Volume 4, Fash. 2. Pages 180 to 182. Retrieved 13 August 2013. Shibazi, A. Shapur. Baram Vikobin. Encyclopedia Iranica. Volume 3, Fash. 5. London et al. Pages 514 to 522. Visofa, Joseph. Ardza II. History. Encyclopedia Iranica, Volume 2, Fash. 4. Pages 371 to 376.